Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to create custom maps in Power BI. Now this video goes beyond custom maps. If you have any clearly demarcated picture or image, you want to assign data to this and visualize in Power BI, this trick also applies. So join me and let's go through this in a few minutes. Okay, so here is a sample sales report that we created in Power BI. And the map in the middle shows the various locations of our stores. So as an example, if I select any particular region, I get to know the top customer in that particular location. Okay, so here, all the calculations that I have done respond to the location that I have selected. It is this kind of map that we want to create okay as i said you can use any image or any map and then you can assign the data and labels to it so that it can respond or filter your calculations so join me and let's learn how to create this okay so let's create this from scratch i have removed the map in this version and let's look at the visualization pane. you know in power bi you have the default visuals and then you also have the option to bring in custom visuals. So at the end of the visuals list or icons, you have the option to get more visuals from the apps marketplace. So the visual we're going to use for this is a custom visual developed by OKVis. So I'll click on get more visuals. And because I'm signed in, okay, I'm taking straight to the app marketplace where I get to see all the visuals here. Okay, so you can search for synoptic panel. Okay, so synoptic panel by OKVis. You see that it displays custom maps with areas that directly reflect your data. Okay, so this is what I'm going to add. So I'll click. So it brings me to this app source. Okay, and I get to add it directly. So I'll click add. The visual was successfully imported. Okay, I see the icon here. So in order to be able to use this, you need to get a very clear, well demarcated image. Okay, ideally, if it has border lines, black border lines, that is ideal. So I have this PNG with a transparent background. You see that my border lines are black, clearly demarcated with the 10 regions of the old Ghana map. Okay, so you can use any other map here. So I have this on standby, right? Now, what you need to do is to go to your website synoptic.design okay so synoptic.design this brings you to this page now the basic idea here is you can drag that map or that image so i'll click on insert browse okay and then fetch this old ghana map okay so it comes with a bit zoomed out so i'm going to reduce it with a scroll so you can zoom in out okay using the mouse wheel or the two fingers on your mouse pad okay so that is now let's pay attention to these icons that we have here there are four main icons right so this first one you can use to draw a new area that is if you don't have a map okay now the important icon here is this magic stick which you can use to select and label particular areas right and then you can use this arrow to select existing areas and then this hand grabber icon you can select it to move the map around right so that's how we are going to approach this so with this in place i'll position the top part of my map okay and then activate the magic stick and now go and select each map okay so if i select the first one you realize that it brings the these fields here for me to name these maps, right? And then I'll proceed. So this is area number two, area number three, okay? Then I'll take the grabber to move the, this up a bit. Okay, zoom out. So I can have access to the bottom part. So I have three areas selected so far. Back to the stick, this is number four, okay? This is number five, this is number six, okay, number seven, number eight, number nine, 
okay and then lastly i have number 10 right so as i've selected these i now have 10 areas here and now my job is to take the names in my data set and assign it to these areas right so if i click on this which is upper west okay i'll just name it this, the same way it appears in my data so this is upper west okay then i'll go down select number two that is upper east okay then number three that's the northern region please be mindful of trailing and leading spaces it has to be exactly as it is in your data set okay so bronc dash a half four okay so moving on to the fifth area i would reposition this okay so i can have access to the rest so number five is the western region okay go down to number six which is ashanti and then number seven is the central region okay number eight we have the eastern okay and then number nine we have volta and then lastly we have number 10. so as i select any of these areas you realize that i have a guide okay in here to show me which part is active okay so we've now labeled these okay now if you want you can submit it to gallery so that others can use it they can find it in the gallery or you can export to power bi so i'm done i'll click on export to power bi so i have this screen okay now you gently right click on the image and then you save image as okay so i'm going to save this image as a scalable vector graphic svg document right i'll name this example map okay and then i'll save it on my computer so this has downloaded now let's go back to our Power BI report. So already I have this custom visual activated, right? So I'm going to bring it in into my report. So you realize that it gives me this placeholder. So I can position it in the way that I want it to sit in my design. Okay, so I have this here. Now for it to populate anything, you need to drag your measure and then your category. Okay, so what we want to do is to analyze total profits. I have total profit under my measures. So I'll, cl I'll click on total profit, right? Now it needs that category. So that category is my regions, which is under location. So I have region here, so I'll do that. Okay, so I have region and then I have my total profit here. Now. You don't see anything yet because it needs the map that you designed right so now i can go to local maps which is on my computer or the gallery of okvis so i'll click on local maps and then bring in my example map here right so when you have all green then it means you clearly demarcated everything well if you have some black spots then there's a mismatch you have to go back and then correct these okay so the rest is just how to assign your theme or your colors. So let's quickly look at what we have in the visual settings. So we have some general toolbar data colors, which we are going to change the default color to yellow, okay? So if I do this, I also have the option to saturate, okay? So this way I know in which location I had a lot of profit, right? So what is important here is that when this comes in, Okay, because you have the data set in your data model, anywhere you click, okay, the numbers you've calculated also respond, right? So here yeah, I'm able to now use this to get more insights, okay, on my data set. So you can apply it in several ways. I use the old Ghana map. If your country has a clearly demarcated map, you could also use that. You could use it for your store locations in your organization and all that. So please practice and add it to your Power BI skill set. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number 
will add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.